What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today we're gonna look at the GH5 and micro cinema cameras Moira or Moir but basically how it handles the patterns on your footage. Um, in my opinion and I'm gonna show you the whole entire clip of course now that's the GH5 this is the zoomed in version it's a continuation of the pan from right to left I was impressed and this is just my two cents at how the GH5 went. Now I know it's gonna be boring, but the best way to show this is by looking at rooftops. I know it's creepy, but for me, the best way to show Moira uh, test is by looking at rooftops or bricks and stuff like that. But I honestly don't think both the cameras did that bad. I know the Blackmagic cameras are freaking relentless when it comes to like Moira. They're really bad to the point that People actually started installing filters to block the Moira or whatever. But I would think, I would say the GH5 won this by a tiny margin, but that's just my opinion. Let me know if you have, uh, if you think otherwise, but yeah. Now this is just a ProRes version. I know a lot of people have been asking for this. Now it is brighter. Like I said, when you record ProRes, it's like, a little bit brighter than the regular raw. I didn't do any tweaking at all. I just slapped some Rec. 709 LUTs on them. So they're pretty minimal as far as coloring. Uh, hope that helped you guys out. So got a lot of stuff to show you guys. Uh, pretty exciting stuff actually. The anamorphic lenses, unfortunately, I still don't have. But let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.